What's up? What's up? The internet land. It's your girl Sean here, the entrepreneur, entrepreneur, coming to you live from my home office here in Boston, MA. As I stated yesterday, I am coming before you today because I have entered myself into a 14 day uh, marketing challenge. And so today is day two of that challenge. And I want to ask you a question. Uh, let's see, I took some notes. I did write some notes down as I always do. So I like to make sure that I give you exactly what I come to give you uh, on my lives. So I have five. I have a question for you. Would you like to know five steps to becoming a better person? Now, you may ask Sean, why would we talk about this? Well, what, let, let, let's let's dissect that a little bit. We are, are we are in a new year, 2019. We're January, I believe. Would it be 10th already? I can't even keep up. It was January 10th. We're in. 9, 10, I can't, the days are just flying by already. And one of the things that we talk about a lot of times are, you know, New Year's resolutions. I've been seeing all over Facebook, new me, new year, new year, new me, and all these wonderful things. Um, and so a lot of times we take, for some reason, we take the beginning of the year to really reflect back on the previous year and try to come up with some new, uh, some new and better things to improve ourselves, our lives, our families' lives, our businesses, whatever that may be. So today, I'm going to share with you five tips to becoming a better person, okay? So the first tip um, that I want to bring to you is to, one, do all things in love. Now, I know that's probably easier said than done, but really what I want you to get from that is to really understand that you control your day. You control everything about yourself. You are in complete control. No matter what someone else does, you have the switch inside of you to either blow up and make it a big thing or to be calm about it and move on. So, again, number one is that you want to do all things that you do out of love. Okay? That's number one. Number two, you want to lift others up instead of putting them down. Okay? A lot of times, you know, we will tear other people down in a heartbeat will think nothing of it um but the best way to be the best person you can be is to lift people up look at their strong points and you know encourage them and if they're doing something that may not seem right still encourage them you want to be able to lift people up trust me you uh get along a lot better in this world if you lift lift others up all right number three you want to share more and be selfless because here's the thing folks if we're selfless do you realize how many more people we help do you realize how many more people are impacted by us being selfless okay so you truly want to be selfless share more share more of who you are share more of your story uh, just share more because you never know what you may say or what you might have gone through may help someone else. So be selfish about it. Don't look for anything from them, okay? You just want to share more of you, all right? That's number three. Number four is that to realize that everyone has a different path to walk. Now, this can be a little tricky because sometimes when we're doing things, you know, we can imagine in our minds that, oh, I can see so-and-so doing this or I can see so-and-so doing that. But you have to realize that everyone's path is different and you got to be okay with that. And my path is different than somebody else's. It's not a big deal. I still support those who are doing something d different than I. If I present something to somebody and they say, hey, this is not for me. You know what I say? Simply say, thank you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you for taking the time out. And I move on. All right. So that's number four. All right. Realize that everyone has a different path. Okay. And number five. It's going to be a big one for you folks. Number five. Embrace differences. I said it folks. Embrace differences. Because why? Everybody is different. Everybody's got a different outlook on something. And it's okay. Because guess what? That's what makes the world go round. Being different. But embrace those differences. Don't try to sit up and argue with somebody about a point. Just embrace it. Listen to what they're saying. See if it makes any sense. It may take a day or two to let it all soak in. And it's okay. But embrace 
the differences. All right. So that's really all that I have for you guys. But before I get out of here, let's go through that list one more time. All right. The five steps to being a better person. Number one, do all things out of love. Number two, lift up, lift others up instead of tearing them down. Number three, share more, be uh, selfless. Number four, realize everyone has a different path. And number five, embrace the differences. All right. That's what I have for you folks. So now before you go, um, if you want more tips like this, I have 10 more tips just like this to help you be a better you. If you want those tips, do me a, a huge favor, message me. And I will get those 10 tips over to you. Those 10 additional tips over to you. All right. If you got some, uh, I hope you got some uh, great value from today's video. If you did, stay tuned for tomorrow because I'm sure we'll be doing another live video. I have no idea what it's about, but I'm going with the process. All right. So again, day two of my 14 day challenge. And this was all about the five steps to being a better you. Again, I hope you guys got some value. And until tomorrow, guys, I'm out. Peace.